Alright guys, as you can see, I'm in the bus station here in Cali, heading out, going to my next city. My next city is Popayan. It's about three hours away. When you guys come to the bus station in Colombia, don't be afraid of not being able to find the bus that's going to take you to the city you want to go. There's always sellers outside the, their little spots saying the city, Popayan, this, that, that. And you hear the city, go talk to them, you buy a ticket. I bought a ticket, it cost 40,000 pesos. I'm actually riding a car. Um, a sedan or whatever with two other passengers that's the fastest way to go and it costs 40,000 pesos it's about three hour ride so hopefully I'll get the front seat and I'll get some good footage we'll see but I ordered some breakfast finally I found some real food because the past three days I've been eating burgers and pizza in Cali because I can't find real food I can't find many of the days what I found out last thing is that in the panderias the uh, bakeries that's where they serve the menu of the days I didn't know that I want to come back to Cali redo it again uh, and at the end of the day, I actually love Cali. Cali was awesome. People were great. Still see myself living in Medellin, but Cali is a great place to come and visit and stay and learn salsa 100%. Anyways, let me eat my breakfast. Stay tuned. So here's the breakfast. We got huevos, perico, they call it here in Cali, which is aleño, which is tomato and onion. And uh, they give us miniature arepas here, man. They're cold, that's not good. Negative uno for Cali. The hot chocolate is super hot. Arepa's cold. Let's try the eggs. Hate to say it, breakfast is better in Medellin. Food is better in Medellin. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe I didn't eat the right places, but like the typical meals you can find everywhere in, in, in Medellin, the Paisa typical meals here, it's hard to find, man. And it's hard to find good quality typical. I think my, my, now my theory is this. Most people here in Cali make their typical meals at home. Most people cook at home, they don't eat out that much. Not as much as in Medellin. And when they eat out, they want something different than what they eat normally at home. Because if they're always cooking the same, like the typical meals at home, they want to go out and have pizza, have a burger, have this and that. So that makes total sense. In Medellin, a lot of tourists are coming. They want to eat typical meals. So I guess they're mm, providing for that need and also People are just getting used to eating outside their house in Medellin, I guess. I'm not sure they're getting busy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments what y'all think about my theory. But, uh, hey, I had a good pizza and good burgers. <laughs> Alright guys, so what they say about Cali, I don't believe because it was expensive. My breakfast was 9,500 pesos for that one egg and those small cold arepas that was not good. Medellin is winning on food. <laughs> Alright guys, check it out. So we're in between Cali and Popayan and it looks like it's pretty flat country. Very green, a lot of grass where they raise cattle, it looks like, and also grow crops. Very interesting. And if you think about it, this ride cost me 40,000 pesos. That's about $10 or 11 bucks to go two hours. In the States, I would put like $30 in my tank to go that far. So. Anyways, stay tuned when we get to the city I'll turn the camera on and show you guys around and also show you my Airbnb I'm staying at. Guys check it out so we stopped for a bathroom break and I finally saw food that was actually looking good but they're not going to wait for us to eat that's the problem so I'll show you the food when we're walking out. Check it out real food. I know they're not going to let me eat here. I all right guys, so I arrived in Popayan, the bus station terminal is not very big, but guess what? Today, they, it's what's called as paro. There's a paro, so there's no service, servicio or service of taxi or buses. So the only way to get around town today is by motorcycle. But I got this luggage and I don't like riding a motorcycle. I don't trust it, man, especially with this rain. So I might just walk it. You guys know I can walk a lot, so I might just walk to my Airbnb. I know, it's horrible. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, so I found a spot. It looks like they're celebrating my birthday. Even though it's not my birthday, I have no idea. It's where they want to sit me, so let's check it out. Popayan. So this is this is right next to the, um, the station. It looks decent, hopefully it's good food. It looks like the only service for getting around is motorcycles. Everybody jump on the back of motorcycles. So motorcycles get around here are common. Like taxis, but motorcycles. Anyways, ah, I hit my head on this stupid heart over there. 
there's this part that they put down too low and I pound in my head. One second, let me order. One second. Eh, entonces acá está el, el menú, ¿sí o no? ¿Y qué, qué viene con el, el, el tío de, del día? Eh, res en salsa de manzana, Ajá. cerdo en salsa de dulce, chuleta de cerdo Ajá. o eh, quesadilla de pollo. Quesadilla de pollo. Y res en salsa de qué, perdón. En salsa de manzana. Man y el otro, cerdo de qué? Cerdo en salsa agridulce. Agridulce. Me da. O desea uno de ¿Y con costilla qué es eso? ¿Una sopa o qué? No, costilla es de cerdo. ¿De cerdo? Ah, ok, costilla normal. Uh -huh. eh, no, me da esa con, con cerdo, porfa. Cerdo en salsa de dulce. Porfa. ¿Y viene con bebida? Sopa del día, uh -huh. sopa de maíz o mazamorra. Sopa de maíz, porfa. ¿Y qué tiene para tomar? Frijoles o yucos. Oh, no entendí. Ah, en el plato. Frigoles. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Y para tomar? ¿Quiere algo de acá? Ah, no viene con, sí, con eh, limonada. Jugo de mora. Jugo de mora, perfecto. Okay. Sí, muchas gracias. Everywhere in Colombia is different. I, have, I don't travel outside Antioquia very much, right? So, this is, I'm a país outside Antioquia trying to figure things out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll, I'll show you all the food when it comes and we'll see. But I was saying there's a heart. That heart, let's see, over here, it's literally down to like, someone was like five foot seven, five foot six, I'm six foot. I wasn't paying attention, I hit my head on the point right there. That's just welcome to Colombia, where they don't actually think about safety as much as back in the States. So if you're tall, five foot 11 or above, be careful. Anyways, stay tuned. So this is corn soup right here, nice and hot. And here in Popayan, oh, my mora, gracias. It's good, it's good. Anyways, here in Popayan, it's cold outside. It's like maybe, I don't know, 55 degrees or so, maybe 60, I'm not sure. So it's colder than Medellin. And when you go to a place that's cold, they tend to give you hot stuff, so hot soup. Boiling hot soup. Hold on. So there's mostly water. There's a little bit of potatoes. She said it was corn soup. I don't see any corn. Like maybe a few kernels. <laughs> it's all right. Better in Antioquia. Gracias. Ah, so here's the beans. So she confused me because she, she she told me the two soups was uh, maizorca and corn soup. So I chose my soup and then she said frijoles or yuca. I'm like, but you already told me the soup was maizorca and uh, maiz and corn. But here's the beans. It's a little bowl of uh, bean soup. Let's try the beans from Popian. Not amazing, it's good though. Mm. I'm happy to have somewhat of a real food. Cause like I said, in Cali, I couldn't find casero. I couldn't find like home cooking food. And I just ate pizza and burgers, man. You guys are gonna make fun of me because I probably missed out on a lot of good food, but I just couldn't find it. I walked everywhere. I mean, if y'all watched those videos of me in Cali, y'all saw I walked a lot, especially the first day. I did like 30,000 steps. Hold on. Cali. Aha. Uh -huh. Gracias. So there's the uh, pork with, I don't know, I don't know what, I forget, I got salad, rice, potato. All right, not bad. Okay. This soup is super hot. Let this cool down. Jesus. What was going on here before with all this 
birthday decoration. What's that about? And they got a heart there too. It's Valentine's Day. Am I missing something? Mm. Or maybe they decorated it. And they thought, you know what? It's so pretty. I'm just gonna keep it that way. <laughs> good but I don't like my meat with something sweet on it I'd rather have salty mm. that was good just uh, tomatoes and onions that's all it is mm. and rice good you're probably thinking, David, how can you mess up rice? Well, I've been to places where I mess up rice. I went to Curaçao, and the hotel we stayed at was booked by the agency because my, my girlfriend's family is Colombian, and they're used to travel with agencies still, like travel agencies. And the travel agency booked us the hotel, and obviously you know that they got us the cheapest hotel they could. And the cook, the food was so bad, horrible. Even the point where they messed up the rice, the rice was still hard like, like rocks. Can't do that. I can't mess up rice. Anyways, even I know how to cook rice. Like the old fashioned way with the pie. So I got an email the, like today actually. For months from subscribers. Complaining about the food in Medellin, how bad it was, how, how simple it was, how boring and plain it was, right? Let me tell you what, I've been in Colombia and Medellin for so long that I actually prefer the boring, plain food. Because right now, this is a little bit too much going on. This uh, sweet sauce here, I don't know if you can see it, but like this sweet sauce on top, too much going on. I just want I just want meat with salt, you know, and some rice and some beans. I don't need too much. You think when they try to put too much, maybe in other countries that do a lot of flavoring. They, I mean, maybe the food quality is not as good because in Colombia, especially in Antioquia, the food quality is really good. So you don't need that much. You need salt. Mm. Anyways, I've only been gone for three days now from Medellin. I'm already missing the food over there. That just shows you how long I've been there. Mm. All right, stay tuned. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, finish the food. Actually, it was actually quite nice. I missed it. I missed a good meal, a good hot soup too. So, let me pay the bill. I'll tell you how much it is in a second. Now I get to walk in. But for some reason, check out these Robocops here. Can you see them? The Robocops, man. They're dressed up like, um, like Robocop base. I don't know why. Let me know in the comments if you guys know why there's Robocops walking around Popayan. Is there riots happening right now? Should I be worried? Mm. But they are decked out. Mm. All right, I forgot to tell y'all, the the lunch was eleven thousand pesos, so a decent price, back to normal price. Cali was just overpriced with it. That breakfast I had in the terminal, nine thousand five hundred, and it was just one egg and small cold arepas. Man, I can't believe it. All right, let's carry on. That's what I like to see. I like to see menus of the days in all the places, every corner. That's what I was missing in Cali. Here so far I've been walking and I've only been walking about maybe five, 10 minutes and I've already seen like four menus of the days. That's great. But I was walking, I smelled uh, baked goods and I literally turned, looked and stepped right into a mud puddle. So my shoe is soaked. So welcome to Popayan, the city of Oh, that's a beautiful church over there. Oh, that's nice. So now I'm just walking to the Airbnb. 
And the good thing is my Airbnb is close to El Centro. And El Centro is famous for the white, the white buildings. This place is called the White City because of the white buildings in the historic part of town. We're not there yet, obviously you can see. Looks like any other uh, Colombian town. But let me get to my Airbnb first. I'll show you guys around. And then uh, we'll go walk around. Maybe I'll take a nap, I'm kind of tired. All right guys, stay tuned. Guys, check out the Chivas here in Popayan. Cool. Kind of same as Antioquia. But I see they put this uh, this roof up top. Oh. What's up with all these? What's up with all the police officers? What's going on? Huh? All right, <laughs> gracias. All right, guys. So I found out why these cops, why these cops are dressed up like RoboCop, is because the because the paro servicio, which means the taxis and the buses are aren't able to work. Muchas gracias. Ciao. They're not able to work, so. They're over there protesting. So these guys, the officers are in the riot gear. And I'm just arriving right now. And I asked the lady, you know, will it be dangerous? And she said, probably not, but I'm staying right in the middle of everything. I'm about to walk through the protest, guys. Stay tuned, let's go check it out. All right, guys, let's go in the middle of the protest. Let's go see what happens. Hmm. That's why, that's why I'm walking. The taxis don't, aren't working. And there they are. Hmm. There we go. So everybody's pissed off. All the taxi drivers are pissed off. They're not letting them work. And I tried. I tried to get an Uber, but Ubers aren't working either. So they're probably pissed off too. Hmm. Who knows what's happening? Huh. All right, guys. I gotta walk. I gotta walk straight through to get to my place. We made it through the protest, safe and sound. Now I got more to walk. I almost want to. I almost want to protest too because because of that, I have to walk this far. Ah, oh, check this dude out. Nice. So, anyways, whatever. Let's continue. And then we got the random goat. One ask him us. Para la leche, okay. Ustedes están vendiendo leche, ¿ca? En serio. ¿Cuánto? Dos mil pesos el vaso, desde ahí. Ah, bueno, yo quiero quiero probar eso. Yo estaba pensando por qué tienen cabra acá. Guys, they're they're selling a glass of milk from the from the goat. Let's see. Hold on. Wow. This is as fresh as it gets. ¿Y cómo te sientes? Ah, bien, bien. <laughs> wow, cool. Eso es bueno para la salud. Sí, señor. Ajá. Para los pulmones, la vía respiratoria muy buena. Ah, bueno. Déjeme, déjeme tomar. Oh, es caliente. Sí, señor. Guys, nice and warm. Gracias. Thank you. Let me cambiar lados porque un moto puede coger eso, ¿sí o no? Claro. Ah. Guys, it's good. It's mostly foam. Mucha espuma. Sí. Mm. Está muy bueno. Muchas gracias. Mm. Hey guys, would y'all try this? Would y'all drink this? I know I would. Mm. Gracias. ¿Cómo está viviendo acá en Popayán? ¿Cómo está, ¿Cómo está la vida acá? Pues yo vivo en el campo. Ajá. Es pues muy bueno, la vida en el campo es muy buena. Para todo, usted se puede reducir para lo, lo que sea. Aquí en la ciudad pues es todo costoso. Todo costoso. Usted sabe que todo es completo. Sí. Uno ya puede sembrar lo que, lo que usted desee y se le da. Lo que necesita. Claro. Tienen tu, tu, sus gallinas, gallinas, tienen tu leche. Leche. Carne, carne, cerdo, 
Cierto, todo eso es lo que ah. usted pueda sembrar. Ajá. ¿Y vive acá lejos o cerca? Eh, para el lado de Cajibío. Ah, bueno. So I asked, bueno, so I asked him how life was here in Popayán. And he said he lives in the campo, the country. Lo invito, hermano. Hay una zona turística donde puedes ir a acampar. Se llama Lago El Bolsón. Lago El Bolsón. Sí, señor. Ajá. Para las Margaritas. Ajá. A 8 kilómetros más abajo. Ah, bueno. Está y bien. También está la cascada del Duende. Ah, Esto bacano. Duende, también para el sitio turístico donde puedes ir a acampar. Ajá. Con tu carpita. Ajá. Te puedes instalar allá. Ah, bacano. Sí, señor. So I asked him how life was here. He said he lives in the country, country life is a whole lot better. You can plant what you need, you got all the food you want to eat there. And he told me about a place to go camping. I'll put subtitles, y'all can read. <laughs> My first time drinking goat milk from the goat like this. Isn't it for us to tomar this? Está bueno. ¿Y usted vende solamente la leche o vende más cosas? ¿Cómo? No, pues si la cola granulada, no más que la leche. ¿Es suficiente? Sí, señor. Mm. Ah, look here, guys. So he sells the milk. And acá están las galletas. Las galletas. <laughs> so here's, so we got the milk here, and then if you want galletas, the, the dip, like cookies, you got it right there. Usted puso acá. Ustedes están juntos. Ah, bueno, inteligente, inteligente. Very intelligent. So they're they're, they're business partners. <laughs> There you go, guys. Proof that I drank it all. It was delicious. Muy, muy, uh, ¿cómo se Yo recomiendo el señor. ¿Cómo se llama? Carlos. Carlos. Recomiendo Carlos uh, para tomar uh, esa leche acá. ¿Dónde estamos ubicados? Aquí en el barrio Bolívar, Popayán. El barrio Bolívar. Look him up. All right. I actually think that guy was pretty intelligent. To set up the business like that with a goat sticking his head off a out of a truck, it, it made curiosity. I crossed the street. I even crossed the street to go see what's going on to take a picture, and I found out he's selling the milk. I think if anybody sets that up in a city that allows it, man, they'll make good money. And also the same thing, goats need to be milked every day. If you don't milk them, they they get sick or something. I'm not sure. They lose their milk. I'm not sure. But uh, because since you have to milk it every day. And you want to make money? Sell it by the cup. Two thousand pesos with that cup. That guy was smart, man. Very smart. He, I probably would pay. I would, probably would have paid four thousand for that. Very good. So guys, I'm walking, and I got to the spot here, and the Airbnb host said, "Okay, come to the white fence, and you have two options. You can jump it, or you can walk around the corner and go around the corner." I'm like, I'm not jumping that fence, man. I got a bag and everything. <laughs> so let's go do the. Uh, there, you know, no, 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 hostel. The hostel is there, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course, of yeah. course. I'm staying in a different place. Ah, yeah, yeah. You're looking for a, some a friend, something like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in yes. All right. So good. Thank you. You from here? Yeah. Well, not really. You know, I'm from Venezuela. Ah, okay. You know, but I'm living in this block. You know. Ah, very good. Yeah. Very I'm good. helping, you know, the, all the people here. You know, cleaning the front side or anything. You know, the the people like. You know? Excellent. Take care. Sure. Ciao. Whatever you like, I'm here. My name is Jesus. Jesus? Yeah. Jesus. Okay, Jesus. Mucho gusto. Well. Ciao. All right, so cool. We got Jesus. We got Jesus working on the block, helping everybody out. I mean, it's fit into his name. It's good. So he wanted me to jump that fence, man. That's funny. So I'll put a link to the Airbnb I'm staying at. Oh, that looks really good. These fried donuts. Hmm. Buenas. Vamos a ver. Ay, no, qué pena. Más tarde vengo acá para comer. <laughs> Gracias. So, hmm. Buenas. So, yeah, everybody, so far, everybody's been pretty nice here. So far, I just arrived. I'm tired. I need to get a nap in. But, uh, starting to look like it's going to be an adventure this trip this to Popayan. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Behind there is a hill. It's called El Morro de Something. And there's a story behind it. I want to find out that story and tell you guys. I'm not like most YouTubers who look on Wikipedia first and then turn the camera on and say, I know all this information, listen to me. No, they looked up on Wikipedia and they got the information. I'm letting you guys know I don't know the information. I want to find out the information and tell you all the story. So stay tuned for that, yeah? <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about my way of doing videos.
and there's my Airbnb host over there. Ooh, it's been a walk. All right, guys, so I got here with Camilo. He's here, and right away he's offering me mangoes. Uh, but I'm thinking, okay, this guy here, how does English? Oh, yeah. I okay, do. he wanted me to jump the fence. Yeah, how I, many, I do that all the time. How many people jump the fence when they come here? No, none. No, <laughs> but, but do you <laughs> offer to everybody? No. Just me. Yeah, just Because he saw me from a distance and said, that guy looks fit. That guy looks fit. And then I just arrived here and he said, do you like mango? I'm like, yeah. And he said, well, there's the mango up there on top of the tree. So he's probably expecting me to climb this tree to get him some mangoes. If you want. <laughs> oh, you there's, there's some... <laughs> All right, so welcome to Popayan, right? Welcome to Popayan. Excellent. Let's go check out the Airbnb. <laughs> so here we go. Check out this Airbnb. We got some... Camilo's left me some fresh fruits. But I don't see any mangoes. He wants me, he expects me to climb the tree for those mangoes. <laughs> I'm playing. Uchoas, I love these. Uh, yeah, yeah, Uchoas. Yeah, they're great, they're great. Excellent. And also some agras down there. They're a little bitter. Agras? Okay, yeah. What is agras? I don't know the name in English. Uh, it's bitter. Guys, do you know what agras is in English? Comment below, please. Let's see. Yes, yeah, bitter. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. It definitely tastes like you're eating in the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're eating in the forest. Excellent, man. This is great. Guys, let me know in the comments what y'all think about this Airbnb. I'll put a link in the description and in the pinned comment. If you guys want to stay at Camilo's place, have an adventure, check it out. So here we got the kitchen. Nice. I like it. And how far is it from uh, Centro? Like the we main... Are in Centro. We're in Centro. Yeah. So everybody's walk everything's walkable yep. here. All right, and I like to walk. I didn't mind the walk from the bus station. Nice. Do you get a lot of people from other countries coming? Yeah, we do. We do. We have a lot of foreigners coming from Europe, the US, and Excellent. Australia. And what's the main thing, what's the most recommended thing for me to do in, while I'm in town? Eating. Eating? Yes. What should I eat? You should eat tamales de pipian. Uh -huh. They're great. Uh -huh. And also we have these candy type uh, types, yeah, and also cookies. Uh -huh. And this thing named um, salpicón payanés, which is made of guanabana uh -huh. and raspberry uh -huh. and lulo. Uh -huh. And it's all like ice it's crushed. Okay. It's awesome. Like an ice cream. Yeah, it, 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 and you can mix with also ice cream, like okay. fresh milk ice cream. It's so good. Interesting. I gotta try so it. Good. Yeah, and it's it's two blocks from here. Excellent, excellent. So, yeah. guys, note that down as he was t talking. I'm gonna write it down too. I'm gonna go try those foods. <laughs> so definitely eat. And what else should I do while I'm here? And well, not for today, but maybe sunset from El Morro, which uh -huh. is next door. Excellent. It, it's a very nice look. What's and the What's the history with El, El Morro? It used to be a pyramid. A pyramid. Well, it is. It, it is was like the one of the pyramid. oldest, because I, I read it, I looked up on Wikipedia before I came, I did a little research, and on Wikipedia it said that it's, it was one of the oldest structures here. It was actually predating the indigenous people before the Spanish arrived. Is that correct? Yes, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. See guys, I do, I do my research. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah, so, cool. So right now we're, we're just, Doing a paint job to the one of their Airbnb subsets. Okay. So I, I don't know if you want to see it, what we're doing. Sure, let's go. Come on. You want to take Why not? Yeah, I'm always curious. And and walking from the bus station, I noticed a, a many police officers with riot gear on because of the, the they did the paro de servicio and all the taxi drivers and bus drivers are protesting. Yes. So is it is it is it dangerous for me to be walking on the street? No, I'm walking too today. Okay, sweet. Don't worry. We're good. So, this is a different type of place and we're painting it. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Let me change the lens real quick. Yeah. Alright guys, so now we're going to check out this other Airbnb it's working on. It's getting painted. So, Camilo told me he's trying to decide on the color of paint. So, I'm going to let you guys help him decide. Tell me if you like the paint he's painting the apartment. Let's go check it out. Well, it's not the apartment, but it's just for the kitchen. Oh, just for the kitchen. Yeah, just for the kitchen. We're, we're, we're okay. modeling. Uh, and you're talking about this paint back here? Actually, on your back. On my back. This. One second. This is the way it looks now. So, so we got the pink I'm going really on. I'm really not sure about it. So you're thinking about this color. Yeah, what other yeah, color yeah. are you thinking? Yeah, yeah this is the, 
the, the one we're adding right now. Okay. But I'm just thinking, I don't know if these will look so pink. I don't know. They'll be very pink. It'll be like uh, from a kitchen from like the 50s. Yeah. In the States. Yeah, yeah. so I don't know. I let, don't really know. Let us know what y'all think. Yeah, please. Comment below. <laughs> And over here, this is no. the one you, you choose is loft. Yeah. And this is like separate two spaces. Oh, um, um, Isabel, nice to meet yeah. you. Are you guys a couple? Yeah. Yeah. All right. How long have, How long have you guys been doing Airbnb? Four years. And you like it? I like it a lot. It's working well. I like mm -hmm. it a lot, but it's the first time I have an influencer home. There we go. Uh, this is the first time someone called no. me an influencer. Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remember I, I had a, an Instagrammer, not okay. YouTuber. Okay. I had an Instagrammer. YouTuber. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't planning to be a YouTuber. The pandemic happened and I started my channel. <laughs> That's it. That's Congratulations. The, thank you. <laughs> I just started uh, giving information on Colombia because people in the English channels were giving bad information here. Where are you from? Uh, well, I live in Medellin. Okay. But I'm from Texas. Houston, but I've been in Medellin for five years now. I lived in in uh, um, Austin for a while. Oh, cool. That's some good food there. I love it. Austin has some great food. Barbecue there. Ooh, amazing. don't even talk to me about barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord! But I've noticed a few restaurants here have a lot of good steaks. Like, yeah. is is Popia known for steaks? Not really, but I can recommend you a few places. All right. All right. Well, guys, there you go. This is this is a uh, you guys saw the inside of uh, Airbnb host preparing his uh, his loft, right? To yeah. get it ready for you guys. That's that's what we do. There we go. It, 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 would you say this is a hard business to run? No, I enjoy it a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like shopping, and I'm shopping all the time. The sheets and I. I, I like so you're the decorator. Yes. And you're the you're the painter and worker. You. That's it. <laughs> wow, that's great. Hey, why not? I'm all all the time talking to my aunt. Hey, aunt. Hey, uh, you know, I need some some towels. Where's a good place to buy towels uh -huh. and cushions? And, uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> I have fun with that. That's awesome. As long as you guys are, having, I mean, I'm having a great time recording you guys. So as long as you find your passion. So you guys, let me know in the comments who's thinking about doing Airbnb. Maybe I can get some tips from Camilo. Let me know. All right, guys. Yeah. So it looks like they took they took old house and they just remodeled it and made two separate apartments. Not bad. But I actually talked to Camilo and he's they're trading in Bitcoin right now. They're doing the Bitcoin thing. So a lot of fun. Alright guys, I'm exhausted. I wanna take a shower, take a quick nap, possibly. Or maybe I'll just go out and drink a, a Viva Cien and hit the streets. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I took my nap and it looks like it's raining. I'm not sure it's going to be a common theme, this rain, but I'm only here a few days. So I got to take advantage of it. So let me go. Let's go and try to find something to eat. It's four o'clock. So I want to get out there and get something to eat before it starts pouring and get back home. And then tomorrow I have a whole day to show you guys around the city. So let's go get some to eat. Come on. <laughs> 